Hi, everybody. Welcome to our first live in our group. I am so excited to um, actually meet everybody through the group. And also, um, I would like to welcome all the members of, of our group. And I am so excited. And I wanted to share a little bit about the vision that I have for the group and what is the reason that I started it. Um, so I want to officially introduce myself. My name is Alona Lopari and I am a career and a business coach um, and I help women professionals find work they love, get promoted or start their own businesses. My specialty lies in the mindset and also confidence coaching uh, because I believe that especially us as women, uh, we need to learn how to train our thoughts and tap into our inner wisdom and inner power in order for us to achieve and make the difference that we all want to uh, make into our personal lives, into our professional lives, and society as a whole. So I am very excited and passionate about my mission. Um, before I started, I uh, ventured out on building my business. I worked uh, for corporate uh, for many years, actually 13 years ago, where I was in human resource positions and um, leadership positions. Um, and I had the privilege to learn a lot of skills that I actually use in my business today. Um, and because I started getting unfulfilled in my current corporate career and I had a calling as to I needed to do something else, something different um, to actually fulfill my purpose. I was able to transition out of corporate and into my own business about four years ago. So um, I'm very excited to grow with all of you and learn with all of you and offer my support and my um, knowledge to everyone um, and support everyone through their own journey. So the reason that I created this group uh, was to do this, that just that, to create a safe environment for all of us to come together where we connect and we learn and grow with each other, um, whether that's professionally, whether you're um, in a business or whether you are in a career, um, or to grow um, personally as well. So um, this is my, um, my, my vision for the group and also something else that I um, always get inspired by is for all of us to share our stories, our inspirational stories or our stories of struggle or our stories of challenges because I believe once we, um, we share uh, each other's stories, we have um, more opportunity to actually um, make a difference and get inspired and also um, find commonalities between all of us because I believe that at the end of the day, we all have the same fears, the same uh, reservations, the same challenges. So uh, making this group a positive environment where we all learning and growing from each other um, is absolutely why I started it. So um, I am very, very excited. Um, thank you guys for joining Adelina, Goldie. Thank you so much for joining the live. Um, and anytime you guys can um, leave comments, questions, um, because I obviously wanna make it um, very conversational um, because it does get tend to get lonely behind the camera. Uh, and I don't want to feel like I am talking to myself. So the more engaging, the more you guys get a chance to jump on these lives, I think it'll be um, the better for for everybody. Um, and a little selfishly me, because as I said, I do like to engage and participate in conversation. I think we do learn more uh, from each other than than just one particular person. So thank you for doing that. Um, so as a topic today, I chose something that I believe is the foundation of anything that we need to do, that we want to do in our life to fulfill our purpose, our missions, our callings, whatever that might be. I believe that everything will start with, um, with our mindset and building resilient skills, uh, because as I'm sure all of you know, that um, success in any area of our lives starts with what we're telling ourselves 
and starts with the awareness and the recognition of the fears that might be holding us back and the limiting thoughts that we might have, um, which a lot of times come from childhood or we pick them up from our environment or uh, we maybe are unconsciously telling ourselves for so many years and we just don't realize that when we need to show up maybe in our career, into a new um, into a new level, uh, maybe we want to get into a higher position or we want to start our own business, we realize that a lot of uh, these limiting beliefs and these thoughts will come back and unless they're dealt with or being um, less we are aware of them, then it's uh, then we cannot make the changes we want to make. Um, because um, I'm sure you guys know that, that our brain is um, designed to keep us safe. And when we want to make changes and move to new levels, it's going to always trick us into letting us know that um, that we can't do something because it's scary or it's, you know, anxiety uh, provoking or um, it's going to try to limit us. And actually... Rather than judge that, it's it's much better to understand it and allow it to happen because again, the, the purpose of that is to keep us safe. So once we understand that the purpose of it is that, then we can make peace with that and sort of move on and get the tools that we need to move forward. So uh, that's the reason why I want to start the live with this very important topic. Uh, thank you, Christian, for joining. Welcome everybody. So mindset. So I just wanted to kind of define it because I know uh, lately mindset is um, is becoming a big topic and for good reason because it is so important. Um, so I just wanted to kind of slightly define it for you. So mindset is um, the um, it's just the way we think about something. Um, so what makes up our mindset is our thoughts. Um, and um, what our thoughts tell us to do is usually causes us the feelings that we have. And then based on that, we take the actions we take. And then we also get the results based on those actions. So um, we're predisposed most of the time to think of the thoughts that um, when something happens to us, we tend to think about it in a similar way because we gathered the evidence along the way. So we tend to think about things very similarly uh, most of the time. So um, when we get from the level of understanding and being aware of our thoughts and how they, uh, some of the thoughts that we might be thinking might be helping us and some of the thoughts that we might be thinking might be stopping us. Once we understand the difference, then we can keep the ones that are helping us into achieving the level of um, uh, success or happiness that we want to get into um, any area of our life. And we uh, then we can have the awareness of changing the ones that um, are actually stopping us. So it's important to know the difference. Um, so a lot of us, um, I find that I believe, first of all, we all have gifts and we all have our genetic makeups and our personalities and our purpose and we're all born for something and the journey of life is really all about figuring that out in whichever way um, circumstances come to us um, but I believe that we have so much control over our circumstances um, hi Stella thank you for joining we have so much control over our circumstances, not so much by what happens to us, but absolutely about what we think about it. Um, so, I mean, just like the recent, um, our recent situations, um, you know, with, with the, with the COVID-19 or maybe the riots. So, um, if we think of, of, of the situation as maybe it's something disastrous, uh, which it is in a lot of ways uh, because of the effect that it's had. But we still have control over what we think about the situation. We can choose to focus on the, um, the positives in our lives or that we still have our health. For those of you that, you know, still are feeling good and haven't been affected or we might focus on our family being healthy. So it's still a choice. So we have a choice always over the thoughts that we think. 
So that actually gives us the power and empowers us to um, tap into that because a lot of times we might be feeling powerless because of our circumstances. So once we understand that we have that choice, then anything else that happens, uh, you always have a choice to how you want to think about it, even though it might be something that is um, negative in your life. So, um, so how do we build um, resilience out of our mindset? Um, I believe resilience is built through action. Um, so we all have the up and downs and the challenges. We're no, no one is immune to that. Um, whether you are parenting or whether you're in a relationship or whether you are in a career or uh, um, moving through your business, I believe that um, we, build uh, we build resilience by putting ourselves into um, our uncommon or unfamiliar territories and we move beyond our comfort zone. Uh, we can be resilient if we are staying in, in our comfort zone because then um, we don't need to, to face our fears and we don't need to face all the things that we need to face in order to learn um, how to bounce back from these setbacks. Um, that's why most people do like to stay in the comfort zone um, because it's more comfortable to stay there because then we don't have to build resilience and we don't have to deal with all these uncomfortable feelings and the biggest fear of all, which is the, big, uh, the um, fear of failure. So then we're, we'd rather choose staying safe, staying in jobs that we probably are bored in or unfulfilled in or even in relationships that are not making us happy anymore or with friendships that no longer serve us so it could it could show up in many different areas of your life so and then it becomes robotic i mean this happened to me in my corporate career um i i, I stayed safe for many years because i needed to work on my mindset so as soon as i was exposed to coaches and kind of this work um, I started slowly changing my mindset, and that's how I started retraining my brain into over into um, being aware of what was all those thoughts that were holding me back, which a lot of the things were from my culture, or a lot of things were from my childhood, or, or even thoughts that I just thought that um, was the right way to think. Um, and only when I started challenging everything and got into um, the, uh, the, this um, amazing world of coaching, when I saw the power of that in my own life, it was when uh, everything transformed for me. And then I started slowly building new habits as far as um, journaling, meditation, uh, exercising, and these things slowly that were brought into my life um, made all the difference into moving me from my comfort zone to where I was bored and unfulfilled to towards my passion, towards something that um, I believe is going to take me to the next level and move me out of, of, out of the comfort zone. Um, hi guys, Lira, thank you for coming on, Ada. Um, so yeah, so how do we build resilience? We, there's no easy way. We have to move. Uh, we have to make the changes that we know we needed to, to make. Um, same thing from my experience in my corporate career. I knew I had to change. I just didn't have the awareness yet of how I was going to go about it. Because a lot of the times we know in our, if we sit with ourselves, we know that we need to change. We know we're not happy. We just haven't figured out how to yet and we just don't know how we're gonna make that happen and we struggle with all the fears that come up and all the I don't know and all the uncertainty um, so for so long I stayed in that confusion and I actually wish I hired my coach um, earlier because I wasn't sure um, you know what I needed help with and I just stayed in that confusion and sort of comfort zone for longer than I think I might have stayed if I actually got uh, help from someone that could help me. 
Um, so that's the reason why I'm very passionate now about helping other people because I believe the faster you act and the faster you invest and the faster that you get that support, the faster you make the changes, especially from someone that has been there before, that has crossed your path and knows exactly how to take you through the journey and move you past from point A to point Z to wherever you want to go. So, um, uh, and I believe even when at the beginning of my business, I build resilience through a lot of action. And because I worked on my mindset, then I was able to live and be comfortable with fear. I mean, every new decision I made um, was um, fear, fear based. Everything was, you know, of course, um, I didn't want to go move beyond my comfort zone, um, go to networking events, talk to people figure out how I was going to put my dream together. All of that was uncomfortable. Um, and a lot of times I was, I didn't know what I was doing, right? I was just, I was just taking action. I said, you know what? The only way I'm going to find out is if I just take the action and move through the next thing and the next thing and the next baby step and the next baby step. And that's how I build my entire business um, until now. So, and I continue to do the same thing because I was able to, sort of figure out the secret, uh, which was take the action, do it anyway. Now I'm able to uh, retrain my brain. Every time I'm doing something new, my brain is telling me, no, 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 don't do that. No one's going to listen to it. It's scary. It's uncomfortable. It's giving me all these negative thoughts. But because I am able to be aware of that now that those are not true, I have choice over what I think. I'm actually bossing my brain around and telling it, listen, I'm doing this no matter what. And I execute no matter the fear that comes up. Even just doing this live right now. I mean, that's the, the thought I was thinking before. I was, you know, a little bit anxious. And I'm like, oh, it's my first live. You know, uh, who knows how it's going to go. And we're always thinking of the worst case scenarios. Uh, but, you know, I just you just have to throw yourself in the water and learn how to swim. There is no other way around it. It's just um, how life works. Hi, Joanna, Nita. Thanks for joining. Uh, so, yeah, so building resilience is really comes through action. Just taking lots of action and actually lots of imperfect action. I had to get over a lot of perfectionism because I think a lot of people struggle with perfectionism. Um, I came from a culture of, I was actually praised a lot as a child for being a high achiever. And all my life, I thought that I always needed to achieve. So of course, I, I also was learned a lot of perfectionistic tendencies as I had to be the best. I had to always know the answer. I always had to be smart all the time. So until I figured out how to get over those, those things that were holding me back, then I could have made the changes I needed to make because as we know, when you're trying to do something new, it, nothing is known and you're going to suck at it, but it's okay. So I switched my whole mindset from I know what I'm doing to I don't know what I'm doing, but I can always figure it out. And I actually did put that thought in my mind and I retrained my mind that way. And it became so automatic that I was able to rewire myself slowly. This was not an overnight process, but because I worked on it, because I knew I had to make the change in order for me to do the things I wanted to do, um, I worked on it. So I, and that's why now, even when I'm showing up for things that are making me uncomfortable, I just tell myself, it's good enough. Put it out there. It's good enough. It's fine. Don't overthink it. Um, anything that I think my mind tells me to make sure that it's perfect, I challenge it. And I say, just put it out there. Imperfect action. We all human beings. We all work in progress. We are all trying to get better. And actually, I discovered that my happiness is not so much about the results I get, but it's about the journey, about seeing the progress I'm making from yesterday to today. Um, that's where my happiness lies. So I always focus on that. I said, you were, you did that. Amazing. Look good for you. And I do actually tell myself that all the time. I praise myself for the things that I'm doing that are so uncomfortable because I want to teach my brain that that's good. 
and I want to focus it on the pleasure I'm getting from the progress rather than the fear. I don't want to focus on the fear because if I focus on the fear, um, then I am not going to take action and I'm not going to have that right and sometimes when you work too hard on on a lot of the, the things and you commit that that's what you're doing then failure or fear is not an option because it's like i'm just too far far into my journey and then when you move your head back and you look back you realize oh my i've actually come such a long way uh, and i make it a point to actually always document every sunday I write down my achievements for the week, the things that I got done that were important to me um, because I want to create the evidence for myself because we all know how life moves so busy. And a lot of times because of me being a high achiever or maybe even a perfectionist, I always struggle with not giving myself enough credit because I do so much, then I don't see all the amazing things that, um, or the progress that I'm making. So in order for me to, to put focus on it, I have to write it down so I could see it on paper because I can't have it all in my mind. And it, it's, I tend to uh, justify it or um, I sabotage myself. That's another one that a lot of people do. I would sabotage myself by telling myself that Oh yeah, but that was easy. That's why you were able to do it. All these things that are so sort of talking myself out of the things that I am achieving. So um, I try to be very cautious of that and I write down everything that I accomplished throughout the week. And when I stare back at the list, I, I tell myself, listen, this is all the things that you have achieved and it gives me more motivation to actually continue and follow my, my plan and my calendar for the following week. And also what that does too is reinforce my thought that I always have um, grown in myself that I can achieve anything that I put my mind to and I can always figure it out. Maybe I just don't know it yet. Maybe I just don't have the awareness yet, but hello, look back, look at all the things that I achieved and I, I can figure them out even though I did not know them before. So it's creating all this history for me to always tell myself that I figure them out because I've always done it. So I think that's where the confidence comes into play. And that's another topic we'll talk about another time um, because this is all connected. It's all connected. Confidence is built as well, just like the resilience. Um, I build confidence through taking action and showing myself that I can do it. Um, I don't wake up with feeling confident. There's days where we all, uh, I wake up with anxiety. I'm like, oh my God, all the things I have to do. I'm not going to do them. All of this, like we're all human. I don't wake up with it every day, but I make it a discipline to make sure that I show up for the things that I say I'm going to do, just like this live. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nita said, love it. Thank you for sharing personal experience because sometimes we think it's only us. I know. That's exactly why I uh, created the group as well, just to, to show everyone to expose all these things that we're all struggling with because we're all human at the end of the day. And we're all very similar. I have found in my career that... I think humans, as whatever culture we come from, we have all the same needs, all the same similarities, all the same challenges, all the same struggles, just in different circumstances, that's all. So, thank you, said Joanna. Awesome, Joanna, I'm glad that you enjoyed that. Um, all right, I think that's good for this first live. I am very excited to share more of all my journey and I want to start having interviews with you guys and kind of invite other people on and I want to make it a very open environment where everyone is sharing their story and everyone is helping each other grow. Because um, at the end of the day, I believe personal development is the only development that will trickle down into all the other areas. You can't be professionally um, developed and happy unless you personally develop. You can't be a good parent unless you personally develop. You can't be a good partner unless you personally develop. So it starts with that. So you are so inspirational. These are the things we struggle with today. Thank you so much, Joanna. I'm so glad that um, I was able to sort of put a voice to the 
all the common struggles that we all have um, just by being able to share my story or maybe um, other people that I uh, have been blessed to come my way um, to share that with everybody. All right, thank you everybody for joining. Um, we're gonna start doing these lives every Thursday at 12 p.m. most of the time. We're gonna try to keep the time the same for consistency. So I know everybody's life is busy, but you can always watch the live. It stays in the group after the fact. However, if you like to um, engage more with me, I would definitely encourage you to come on and uh, leave comments, ask questions, and make it as conversational and engaging as we, po uh, we possibly can. All right, bye everybody. Have a good week.